Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man. I know you can't see me, but believe me, it is the junk man. But today we're going to talk about something I couldn't believe I hadn't done a video on. And that was the 1993 Topps Trading Cards of Star Wars. Now, I'm going to kind of reminisce about me collecting on more than TV and the in-depth review of the cards themselves or how they came about. But this was 1993 and Star Wars was starting to slowly come back. I mean, you had Heir to the Empire, which was a big seller. You had Dark Empire, which was a big seller comic book. And Star Wars was slowly starting to creep in. You even had the Star Wars Bendems. So although it wasn't back in the mainstream, if you were in that geek world, you knew Star Wars was back. And rumors were already a buzz about new action figures from Hasbro. But I want to talk about the trading cards. I remember finding out about these at a local comic book store. I think they had these little like newspaper magazines at the front of the store. They were always free. It would always tell you about upcoming comic books and stuff. And it had something about the Star Wars Galaxy cards in it. And I believe there was an ad in a couple of the Dark Horse comic books. And I was like, oh man, trading cards. And this was a great time. It was 1993. And I was almost 21. Because these were released in April of 1993. Didn't turn 21 until September. So I found out about these cards and finally I had some money of my own. This wasn't like 1977. This wasn't like 1980. This wasn't like 1983 where I had to buy a pack here and there when I had some money or talk a grown up in the bun. I could buy it. So I went to the comic book store where I hung out at. I knew the owner and I talked about him and I said, hey, what I want to do is when these top Star Wars Galaxy trading cards come, I want to buy the whole box. I know you buy a box. Where they the store will have a box, open the flap, you know, and inside would be cards. I think there was 36 of them in the case. I'm not really sure, and they would, you know, sell them by the sell them singles. And I don't. I thought I was the only one. I was like, man, that would be cool. Just buy the whole box. Maybe he'll give me a deal on it. I thought I was breaking new ground. I think no, but people that's buying, you know, this guy sold baseball cards too and other movie cards. This wasn't. I'm sure he had baseball collectors coming in and buying packs like this all the time. But he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll sell you the whole. I'll sell you the whole thing. Gave me a little, you know, price cut and stand by each one single. Brought it home. Star Wars Galaxy. There was Darth Vader on the cover of it kind of purplish looking box and shrink wrapped and I ripped it open opened it up and uh man it was neat I had to open each card now I was a little bummed I'm not gonna lie to you there was no bubble gum inside what no bubble gum inside but these were beautiful cards really well done now there wasn't scenes from the movie like the original top Star Wars trading cards these were comic book artists and other artists is doing their re-edition of Star Wars. Sometimes they would be really far out. I remember a young Obi-Wan Kenobi that, you know, didn't look nothing like the young Obi-Wan we actually ended up getting. I remember they someone did a picture of, uh, or a card of Boba Fett, how they think he looked without his mask. And there was one of Yoda that Lucas wouldn't let out. I think it started to come out, uh, got teased a little bit, then Lucas banned it or pulled it. Did a whole video on that card, so... So if you want to know more about that, check out that card. But uh, overall, there was 104 cards to collect. Now, that's the standard number. There was also six foil cards. Full, full, full. Did I say that right? F-O-I-L, full, full cards. And these were kind of, you know, they were kind of glossy looking. Um, not really hologram. I, you know what I'm talking about, I'm sure. So you would go through all these, and I didn't get all six of them in this deck, in this box, like, you know, I thought I would. I got a couple of doubles, and I was able to trade them off and buy some more packs, and the comic book store started to sell single cards, so I could do that. But I think when that Star Wars Galaxy box, not counting those six extra cards, I got two sets. I think I made two sets, if I remember correctly. I still have one set. I don't know what I did with the other. Uh, and also, there was a lot of other cards you could get that... Uh, wasn't part of the set there was a couple i think maybe some toy fair magazines or some other magazines came with a checklist card kind of a teaser card uh it seemed like they were throwing star wars galaxy trading cards into everything the star wars bendums had it you had a star wars galaxy magazine came out with a card like i said toy fair i think came with a card wizard maybe it was wizard if not toy fair it's probably wizard came with a trading card uh they were really promoting the hell out of this star wars galaxy trading card set because i everything you looked around had a trading card in it so 
I opened them up. I love these cars. I would just sit there and look at them over and over again. And like I said, this video is not going to go into depth about the making of them or anything like that. I just kind of want to reminisce. This was, you know, kind of missing those. You know, I have a nostalgia for those older days when I was little, uh, you know, with the original Star Wars. But lately, I've been having a kind of a, man, I miss the 90s. I miss that early days of collecting. I miss, uh, you know, hitting stores. You remember when you used to hit stores? Now, you, now there's nowhere to go. I used to wake up, me and my buddy Russ, and we would go to, you know, we'd go to Walmart. It was closest. And then we'd go to Target. And we'd always find something different. Then we'd go hit another Walmart that was near that Target. Then we'd ride over to Media Play. Uh, we'd stop by the mall because they had a Suncoast. We'd hit Suncoast. Sometimes we'd go to Circuit City because they had DVDs on sale. And it just seemed like you spent all your day hopping around these places. And then now today, what? the target we got here closed and there's one about 15 20 minutes away go in there it's got the same shit in there it had last month when you went in there half of the pigs are empty you go to walmart every there's four walmarts and every one of them looks exactly the same it seems like they got the exact same toys on the exact same pigs and everything it, it, i just remember you know in the 90s we would go to one walmart and go to another walmart and it'd be a lot different sure i have a lot of the same figures but you know you never knew what you would find. So I kind of miss those days. I don't know about you guys. If you did that in the 90s and probably into the 2000s. Man, I mentioned media play. And man, I love media play. Didn't you love me? Did y'all have media play? Uh, there was another store. I think it was called uh, On Q. It was, I think it was owned by media play. Owned by Sam Goody. It was kind of a smaller town. It was about an hour away. We'd go up there and work at the Walmart. Uh, hit a couple of things up there and we always go in there. They always had the Star Wars applause figures and uh, movie posters and movies. Anyway, I'm getting really carried with getting out of talking about Star Wars Galaxy cards, but it was really great time. These Star Wars Galaxy cards, you know, you couldn't hardly buy anything Star Wars in 93 other than something you could read. So it was really great to get these Star Wars trading cards. I thought I was a genius buying this box set. And nobody's ever thought about anything like that, man. I'm, I'm, breaking new ground here everybody's gonna be jealous but uh i'm curious if you got them now they did do a star wars galaxy 2 and some more after that and i did get the second series and i think that's about where i stopped they did do a star wars widescreen trading card set that was like widescreen with scenes for the movie i really love those those look really well um but galaxy 1 and 2 i did get uh every card but I guess that's it, guys. I'm curious now what you guys, did you collect these cars? Did you, was you excited when they came out? Did you buy a big box like I did? Or did you buy pack to pack hoping to collect them all? And, uh, you know, today you collect them on an app. Whew, don't even get me started on that Star Wars app. I was in love with that thing. And then I loved to hate it. It was horrible. I loved it. It was beginning. I loved it. I was so addicted to it. And it just drove me crazy after that. It's, you know, no, never mind. I've been going around about that. And I think I've done a video about it. Anyway, that's a look at the Star Wars Galaxy cards from 1993. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> Channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs>